For farmers like Ben Boyd, working on a tractor or a piece of equipment is not out of the ordinary. In fact, he'll tell you aside from planting, watering, or harvesting, they spend the majority of their time repairing their equipment in some shape or form. It's something he's grown up doing, but in recent years has started to run into some issues when repair work needs to be done to the newer pieces of equipment. I've grown up with wrenches and toolboxes and you know my daddy was a pretty good blacksmith so we can work on just about anything but as time has changed there's a lot more computers and tractors than there used to be and we've gotten to where we can work on them a little bit but our, our problem is our fear is that there are some things that they call embedded code which I don't know a whole lot about but I do know there's some things on the tractor that I can't go in and change and fix myself. What often is the case is that the new equipment will lock down when the computer senses something is wrong and requires a licensed technician to come out to the farm and work on it, which can be costly and time consuming. And when it's time to plant or harvest, downtime can cost the producer an entire crop. You got narrow windows, weather coming in, you know, it's kind of like if you finally get everything right and the stars align and you think I can really get something done now and you get a big problem that tears up, if you can't fix it yourself, you got some big issues and uh, and that's a concern for us because what happens if you know nobody's moving around what happens if a state gets shut down what happens if a county gets shut down and we're trying to put a crop in or get a crop back out and we feel like it's kind of a matter of national security we got to get this thing we got to get people fed and do it as quickly and efficiently as we can and we don't really have any room for any mess ups ultimately what it boils down to is when producers pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for their equipment if they want to fix something on it themselves or hire a non-dealer technician they believe they should be able to i feel like that's my tractor i bought it i paid for it as long as it's not under warranty and i don't do anything to mess up the warranty i should be able to do just about what i want to with it just like anything else on the farm or, or in, in our whole life you know if you buy something and pay for it you use it kind of like you want to Thankfully, there is currently legislation in the General Assembly that addresses this issue and aims to fix it, known as the Right to Repair Act, or House Bill 1176, and was authored by Representative Perkle, a farmer himself who says he wants the ability to fix his tractor like he can his truck. Farmers have always been able to fix their equipment. Uh, now, with some of the technologies that we have in our tractors, uh, we don't have access to the tools in order to fix the things that we own. I want to have the same ability to fix my tractor as I do my truck. Uh, if my tractor tears up, plug something in, check the code, and right now there are certain things that makes it difficult uh, for me to do that. So simplified version of the, of the bill is it's a property rights issue. I think we should have access to other people to work on the things that we own. So I think we could perhaps expand the opportunities. I know one person told me, he said, listen, my tractor tore up. It was three weeks before they would come and pick it up. So what I want to do is, is expand the number of people that have access to the tools to work on my stuff. This, however, is not just an issue in Georgia. In fact, this is such a widespread issue in agriculture across the U.S., Congress could potentially act to address it as well. Reporting in Sylvania for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.